Pleasant good morning to you. Nice sunshine today. Uh, count your blessings. Count your blessings. Uh, please understand that there is an important text in Deuteronomy chapter 11 and verse 26 that says, Behold, I set before thee, uh, behold, I set before you this day a blessing and a curse. Verse 27 says, A blessing if ye obey the commandments of the Lord your God, which I command you this day. A lot of people talk about blessings. Sometimes I see uh, them saying, too blessed to be stressed. Uh, well, I don't really understand what that means, uh, but they put it. Uh, but let us, let us look at something. A blessing is a favor from God. Let me put it another way. A blessing is God's favor and protection. It means, therefore, uh, that by myself, I'm not blessed. However, if God decides to donate it to me, then I'm blessed. Yeah, understand? Understand, right? Uh, you cannot want a blessing and live anyhow. It does not work that way. It doesn't work by magic. Uh, the text says, uh, Behold, Jeremy chapter 11 and verse 26, uh, Behold, I set before you this day a blessing and a curse. So God is showing uh, that, listen, I have blessing, uh, but there's curse also. And he says, a blessing, in verse 27, uh, a blessing if he obey the commandments of the Lord your God. It means, therefore, uh, that if I want a blessing from God, uh, I don't have to talk with what in my mouth. It's straightforward. If I want a blessing from God, God says that I need to obey his commandment. I could stop talking now, you know. Yeah, I could stop talking now. That is how you get a blessing from God. Uh, obeying his commandments. Uh, keeping them is not only about heaven, uh, but it is about getting a blessing here on earth. The text is self-explanatory. Uh, there is a blessing in obeying God's commandments. Now, parents, hear this now. You have to understand that it is good and proper child training for you to teach your children daily to obey God's commandments. And you can do that, the best way to do that, to teach your children uh, daily to obey God's commandments is for you uh, to daily be involved in obeying God's commandments also. Uh, uh, they, will, uh, they will easier obey and get it if they see you obeying God's commandments. Remember, there is a blessing tied up in that. Uh, then, uh, let them know uh, that the blessed people uh, do not appear on the face of the earth. In other words, uh, blessed people don't just shoot out of the ground, grow out of the ground like grass. No. I'm, I'm hitting straight at the text. The blessing comes when I have the peace of mind uh, that uh, comes uh, because I know that I am obeying God. Show your children that when they obey their parents, who are commandment keepers, uh, then the blessing will come. Uh, tell them it is easier for them to become adults who succeed uh, if from a tender age they practice obeying God and his commandments. Let them also see that Adam and Eve, you must show them cause to effect and show them that Adam and Eve disobeyed God and because of that, uh, the blessing of longevity and eternal life was taken away from them. Simple, don't make it complicated. Don't make it complicated. Further, finally, parents, if you set an example of obeying God's commandments, then the blessing is generational. Yeah, people like to talk about generational curse. I am here talking uh, to you parents in connection with your children that there's generational blessing. How it comes? It comes uh, when, as the text says, a blessing in verse 27, if ye obey the commandments of the Lord your God, which I command you this day. So count your blessings, and you will be able to count your blessings uh, for this generation as well as the next generation if you practice in front of your children obeying God's commandments. Our God and Father, thanks so much for pointing out in your word that there are blessings 
that you shower down upon us when we obey your commandments. Help us not to be disobedient or to laugh at those who obey God's commandments, but help us to pray and ask you, God, to give us the strength necessary to keep your commandments so that the blessing will not only be with us, but for the next generation. In Jesus' name I thank you. Amen and amen. May God richly bless you. Yeah.